Hello everybody, this is FG and we're finally back to Kinseed. If you go through my YouTube history, there is actually a video of Kinseed on this channel from 2018 where I first streamed and then published the video here on YouTube of the first alpha of Kinseed. And the game is finally out. I didn't really have time to stream it last month. So I thought I'd sit down and uh, we'll start up, you know, start of 2023 with a brand new uh, YouTube only game series. So without further ado, let's go get started. Who am I? That's me. Blue hair though. Yay, blue hair. I wish I could share the ha uh, change the hairdo a little bit, but that works. Pasty white as per usual. Uh, because that's, you know, that's my... I go for myself, so there is that. And we're gonna go with FG. There we are. I'm excited to finally play. It's been... I, I backed this game originally, like... There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. A long time ago, and now I'll be quiet. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Then one day, a man without wife or child, came to the house with manner so mild. The man looked at the children, each a fair twin. I am your uncle, he exclaimed with a grin. He took them away to live in the Vale, in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. Then they slept, safe, warm and dry, under the watchful stars in the sky. I remember this. I remember how quiet uh, the intro cutscene was, which hasn't really changed. I will link the old video down below if you want to check it out and compare Kinsey from back then to now. But uh, we're just gonna get started wake up yep uh right mouse button to uh right button to run default speed in the option screen oh yeah let's do that then real quick because i i set a whole bunch of stuff oh it is already set to run default speed i already did that apparently i also set up rigid movement speed and uh, disabled screen shake and set text speed to instantaneous and oh my god this game is so gorgeous like the pixel art in this game is just oh oh it's probably the prettiest pixel art game i've ever seen there is sound but it's very quiet so we may have to address some stuff hello there well there hello there <laughs> Because for some reason we speak German, dreaming one. My na name is Pot. Let's have some fun. I was given a special task. Some intriguing questions must be asked. Step through the door with a brave face. Enter the very special place. I will meet you and give some choices. So listen to your inner voices. Go now, child, and don't be glum. Visit the woods of what's to come. Then when you wake and we must part, the truth be known inside your heart. Okay... The woods of what's to come. All right. Suppose we just go inside. Now let us start this audition. Tell me, my tell me, child, your life's ambition. Run a business. Butter plus two. Raise a family. Virility plus two. Yeah. Uh, toughness plus two for adventure. Or follow my fate. Stamina plus two. I will run a business. A business, eh? That comes to mind. But tell me, youngster, just what kind? A nice mix? Apothecary? Good store or blacksmith? Speed plus two, con plus two, stamina plus two, strength plus two. A nice mix. Let's not pick something in particular. We'll just go with options. A legacy you hope to grow, but remember for I must know. 
my generosity, I get the ruby pendant, my skills, the sapphire pendant, the things I created for the emerald pendant, or the deeds I did, the diamond pendant. Uh, the deeds I did. Sounds good to me. Questions done and now very good. I can see why Fairweather likes your blood. He gives this gift, so hold it tight and wait for his call one misty night. And off we go. Goodbye. Oh, now we're actually waking up. Oh. Plop. Well. Huh. What's this, I ask? Open. A glass lens, a mysterious gift. There you are. There's our sibling. Come on over here. What are you bossing me around for, huh? Come talk to me. Hold A and select talk. Well, that's one way to get out of doing any work. Why didn't I think of that? We are dreams, huh? You should hear about the one I had last night, but not now. We're supposed to be doing our chores, remember? And don't pretend you lost your journal, lazy bones, because I have it right here. Open the journal with a down button. Pick a dandelion. Then dandelions are the clocks of quill. Find these little fluffy fellas all over the land and pick one. You will notice a clock appear. Simply look at the largest seat to see where it points. Nobody knows how that actually works, but shh. A poor scene of friends love nothing better than food. Except mud. M food and mud. And sleeping. Food, mud, and sleeping. And being ridden around. Okay, they like a lot of things, but they won't like you unless you feed them. Throw something into their pen or interact and choose the feed option. So you notice the job I added, huh? Well, it is your turn. It's right there on the calendar. I check mine every day to make sure I don't forget things. And maybe when you have time, you can work on that map you were always going on about. Thought you might like it with you. Up the map with the right... Gotcha. Whoa, this is so huge world map what the this is humongous this is so different from when i last played this is so cool i almost forgot uncle bill got us a satchel each so we can carry anything we need they are a bit old and musty but they're ours we never had anything like this back at the shoe fruit and veg miscellaneous cooked food herbs fish seeds tools Key items, proverbs, books, oh my lord. Anyways, I think that's it. Now once you've finished your chores, you can start exploring. Can't wait to have adventures myself. I mean, isn't it? Isn't this place amazing? I still can't believe we're here. I always daydream some relative would show up one day and take us away from the shoe. But I never thought someone like Uncle Bill could really exist. Oh, that's right. He wanted to talk to you about something. Better pop over to the house and see what it is. Meet Uncle Uncle Bill. All right. Wait, you still have your thingy. Talk. It was not difficult to leave little signs around to help us. You should try reading them by interacting using left trigger, left control. I know you can read. How are you? I'm okay today. Thank you for asking. What's happening? I'm going to toil in the soil. I need to keep our crop squares tip top. Goodbye. I don't have a gift for you yet. All right. I have to pick a dandelion and I meet, uh, meet Uncle Bill. Ooh, shiny. I found a proverb. Nightberry. Nightberries only appear when nine dark bells ring so clear. Alright. Is Uncle Bill potentially in here? Nope. The game is so gorgeous. It was gorgeous back when I first played, like, eons ago as well, but... Dreamer's Nook. Still in the veil. Somehow I have a feeling we're not supposed to be here. Creator notes number 13. Most NPCs can be married, no matter what gender. The only exception for those who are goddess blessed, like masters. Oh. Alright. <gasps> What's this? You're so cute and shiny. Also, a dandelion. Check. Picking dandelions will make a clock appear in the top right of the screen. If you don't already have a clock there. The largest seat points to the current hour. I... If it points straight down, it is six. A dandelion clock lasts 12 hours, so you will need to pick another. A better clock may be available later, but for now... Nature can help you out. Okay. So we have concluded that quest. Um, let's see. 
No, this is not what I want. I want the task. Why are the map stones in this region? To unlock the map of Willowdown Farm. You should be able to recognize them by their mysterious swirly patterns. Just find them all and interact with them to triangulate your position on real the local map. It is a pity that not many people in Quill can spell triangulate or even know what it means. Alright, I'm going to pin this and then set my fat away. I don't actually know if I have a fat away yet. Uh, I don't. I don't think I do. Ooh, a letter. Or something. The Right Angle by Rod Puller. Oh, it's a book about fishing. Fishing is a science, except science doesn't exist anymore. So, fishing is not like science at all, then. Just cast your rod and try to hit the shadows with your hook. If you miss, a little rippling action might persuade one to come and nibble in, but don't ripple when one is too near, or you will scare them away. Some advanced fishermen know a few tricks that can make you a wizard with a rod, except wizards do not exist, and I simply made that word up as it sounded magical. And lastly, do not forget to adhere to the proverbs. Some fish like rain, some moonlight, some summer, and many even will flock to food if you have the correct skill. Hope these tips were helpful. I don't like fishing myself. I just like writing tips, book, tips, books about fishing. Other books by this author include Carpe Diem, Breaking the Goldfish Coat, Doctor Who Fishes, with foreword by Patrick Troughton. Sharks, just what are they? And what is the sea? Five star fish, quality or quantity? All right. Well, that's our first book. Quality or quantity? Okay, I can't go in there. I'm probably walking way too far away from where I'm actually supposed to go. Ooh. No seeds to plant. Interact. Twix torn out diary notes. Oh, Twix torn out diary notes. It's happening! It's happening! Tonight the night tonight's the night, Mr. F said. We should meet. I'm a little scared, but I know I shouldn't be scared. Because what's there to be frightened of anyway? All the dreams said it would turn out all right, and I breathed Mr. F when he said I can be the best. Best fisherman in all of Quill. Still, he is a fell fay, and they say you can't trust them. That they're tricksters and shapeshifters and bad things happen when you talk to them. But that's just story to stare to scare skits, kids straight. And Twig ain't a kid anymore. I'm all grown up. Even grown-ups get scared going into old mines, though. Got the key and the lantern ready, but might have to take a few swigs of starshine before I go in. Just in case I never make it back, I want to ask where I find this to give my belongings as offering to the goddesses. Tell them I didn't mean to do anything bad. Oh, and tell them not to bring me back as a moth, as I hate bright light. All right. Fair enough. Can't blame you for that one, I suppose. so pretty i know i'm repeating that but it's so pretty oh i need to touch this one map stone oh achievement i cover all map stones on a level to magically acquire an image of the whole region so did i i did but big twig is obviously not there right now okay so what's over here then oh more stuff Provac pond lurker Pond Lurker gives a tiny burst to stamina, but it's the worst. I oh, also can't go in there. I guess I have to meet Uncle Bill first. Just shouldn't mess about all this much, I suppose. But exploring and learning about fishing <laughs> is the best. I suppose this is off. Oh, oh, wait, there is, there is stuff. <gasps> Pear, just the one. Apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Just throw them at him. Oh. What is the what is it? Just what is it? By Amos E. Wall. Some fake creatures go against the grain of secrecy and sometimes show themselves in times of need. The brownie has been known to sometimes make itself known, as do the gillywiddle, the thataway, and the fnarty fnanar, which I bet you struggle to say. Yeah, I did. Mm hmm However, the most common of these little creatures is the what is it? When a person is new to an area, they may see the sparkling little entities fluttering around points of interest. If something is of use, the what is it will draw atten attention to it. The what is it will not go away unless the object is interacted with. It is as though the creature is insisting that it has your full attention. Once satisfied, the what is it will fly away, happy. Well, as happy as a floating, blinking, glowing, flappy eye can be. We met that. And I said shiny, and I followed the shiny, a gassy apple. Quite expensive due to inflation. Oh boy. Ooh, another three-star apple. And another three-star apple. 
and a two star pear and a three star apple and wooden bucket never drink from this use a wooden bucket to scoop up the poo there is another what is it no mail there's uncle bill i assume how are you settling in? I hope you're not finding the chores too much of a bother. I'm not as young as I used to be, so I can't do everything myself. Not that that's why I brought you here. <laughs> Me and your aunt always wanted children, but we were never blessed. If only she was here now. She always loved this time of year. The festival of summertide is coming up soon, and the whole of the Vale we will be preparing for it. Us too. We need the goddesses Druida to smile upon us and bring us prosperity, so I'm counting on you both to help. It'll be fun, you see. How are you? I wish I could be more positive on a lovely day like today. What's happening right now? Someone needs to milk the family cow, so I'm going to do it. Goodbye. Something you need? No, I'm good. Blueberry. It's just their color. They're not sad. Strawberry. Forever and feels full of beetles. <laughs> strawberry feels... It's a bit odd that the strawberries are growing on bushes. Pretty sure that's not where strawberries go. Grow? go um feed with an apple i fed the pig oh now it's stamina is going up very nice all right do i have any more quests oh i have to find the map stones for the farm got it what's this oh watering can basic basically a shower for plants and flowers <laughs> carrots great for helping you see in the dark by setting them on fire yeah because i was going to say like that is a lie that actually didn't happen that's that was just radar exotic exciting succulent three words that you can't use to describe cabbage cabbage is not that bad cabbage can be quite tasty so many so many farming plots i dig it Clear as folk, by Barrel of Laughs. This entire game just needs to be pungent, honest, honestly. Just off to the pungent. It is a truth locally acknowledged that there is no place more peaceful, tranquil, and lush than Quill. Nor people as friendly, helpful, and ob oblivious as Quillians. And if you want to live a full life, avoiding the pitfalls others have fallen into in the past, you ought to listen to the wisdom of these honest folk. Wherever you go in this fair land, you will come across vital pieces of knowledge scrawled on bits of weatherproof paper left behind by some generous soul. Whether they are about to abide by laws and customs, make the best of nature's bounty, or face some of the dark perils that lurk beneath the surface, you're sure to find them all helpful. Well, most of them. Of course, some knowledge isn't written on any scrap or time, and you'll only find it on the tongues of people you meet. Not literally, of course, but become friendly enough with such sages and those tongues are bound to loosen be sure to collect each saying in your journal so you can refer, refer to it often and there's much you can learn yourself from things you find in the world if you study them carefully with a bird beast flower of, or anything else so go out learn and explore as the old proverb says you can't lead a horse to water because they're extinct yeah sure i i've heard that proverb my whole entire life yep of course Indeed. Traitor. What traits are. By A. Ply. <laughs> what are those strange little symbols you see above people's heads when you give them items? Why, it's a trait, of course. Most consumables will apply a trait to the consumer that can affect stats, affect their personality, or even cause a reaction. You can check what these symbols mean on the character status screen by viewing yourself or the NPC affected. Head out one for tooltips. They are permanent traits and temporary. Many traits have an opposite, which when applied will cancel out the active one. Up to three traits can be active at once on any living thing. Use these to your advantage. Someone too good at bartering? Lower their barter stat. Want some fun? Apply flatulence. Now go have fun out there. Wow, making people fart. That's rude. Ooh. Oh, what that is. It does stuff. Proverb. Dandelion. Look at the seeds of the dandelion flower. They point to the current hour. Magic time telling dandelions. Woot woot. Ah, map stone found. Oh, there's one more here. All right. Oh, this is so pretty. Why does it look like there's a ring over there? Outhouse. <laughs> 
The Pick Writer's Guide to the Galaxy by Bugless Adam. Oh, oh you need a quill? Have you come from beyond the eternal mists at the Ring of Fairland? Or are you some uneducated muffin from Deepstone? Maybe you just banged your head and forgot. You may might even be in some kind of ethereal tutorial. I need to know things quickly. Well, here are some reminders of how things work around here. Firstly, the land is ruled over by six, the six fae goddesses. They are Druida, the goddess of orchards, Nida, the goddess of fertility, Frail, the goddess of fields, Hylus, uh, the goddess of death and rebirth, Morwenna, the goddess of beasts, and Aurori, the goddess of seasons. Each day, the people of the land make offerings at goddess statues to the fae deities and put, put food in their offering bowls to appease the clan brownie. The land is covered in mystery, and invisible creatures walk among us under the ever-watchful gaze of the goddesses. It is advised that you read everything. There is no substitute for taking note of what people tell you, but a lot of how things work you need to learn for yourselves. Old school. All right, I'm I'm doing that. I'm reading all the things. Ooh, there's shiny stuff over here. So, ooh, I can make blueberry jam and strawberry jam, but I need honey. You can use this when you're older. Oh, I'm not old enough yet. Pick up. A lantern. A light in dark places. Matey Bubbles by Ada Numpty. <laughs> hey, friend. This is just a small note to remind you about the help available to all. Pressing R on the mystical thing they call a keyboard or the clicking in of the right stick will make an interactive ob any interactive objects be highlighted by a helpful bubble. Simple se simply select one for more information. Clever, eh? You can also use L or press the on-screen button for help when it is displayed. Additionally, there's a little how to play in the options menu with links to a wonderful wiki. So, friend, if you're ever in a stew and don't know what to do, then help is a butter button press away. Anything else here? Nope. That's a pretty nice house. Pretty nice house we've got here. Okay, I still need to find the map stone. Where could it be? Little map stone. Mm -mm. Boo, 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 boo. What's going here? Nothing yet. Is that a map stone? Oh. Oh, discovered the home stone. I to permission granted. FG Uncle Bill's sibling. Got it. All right, that's helpful. Help us to pick, ate the key, find a way to get it out. Oh, make it fart. I will make you fart. I will fight your flatulent apple. The cow looks so happy. All right, where's the pig? Oh, poo. It pooed. Uh, feet. There's the flatulent apple. Enjoy. Oh, boy! Oh, I've done something naughty to the pig. So, how do I... I wonder how I equip... The... Bucket. Apparently, I don't actually have the bucket equipped. Or I don't actually have the bucket. Oh, no, I do. Containers. Can be used from the inventory. Equip them. Ah, all right. Uh, contain release. Ah, there we go. Put away. Okay. I assume you'll fart in the morning and poop it out. Oh, there is the... It's like right there. How did I not see this? Map the region. Completed the task. Unlocked the map of Ruladon Farm. Hoptooth. Hoptooth gives you oomph for night, but also gives you scaredy fright. Okay. Have you... Okay. Did you do the thing? Oink. Did you... No, you didn't fart. I assumed it would fart it out, but it didn't. Ooh, what's this? This is the brownie bowl. Put the uh, pot the brownie looks after your house and babies while you're away, but requires a reward. Each day you need to place an item into the bowl. This item can be anything. Forget to make an offering. Pot will give you a little curse. Each day you'll add another one up for up to a maximum of six. These curses are day of forgetting. Apples go rotten on your trees. Days, two days of forgetting. Curdle. Cows can't be milked on the farm. 
No honey can be taken on the farm. Four. Fish don't bite. Five. Lada has one random item removed at midnight. Six. Befuddle. Your children can't learn. Make an offering. We'll take the curse level down one stage. Your family can be ordered to make offerings in your place. Don't forget. Uh, have an apple. I assume that did it. Looks like it. Why are you? All right, you're just chilling there. All right, that works. Well, I suppose that is our little intro to the full release of version of Akin Seat. Uh, we will play hopefully through the entire game. So make sure to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time. I'm just going to pop to bed and uh, we'll wake up in the morning sleep and safe and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Goodbye.